subscribe hacking info youtube channel and press the bell icon to see the latest videos at first So guys here you can see that I have installed the Cyanogen mod 13 which is the android version marshmallow 6.0.1 I am changing this rom because it got too much hand so I am first booted the phone in the first boot mode you can do it there is the three way to do this either the uh, reboot from bootloader reboot to bootloader or the adb command from the pc or the power button plus volume plus button so reboot the phone to the bootloader Here is the bootloader menu, droid boot menu and in google you can see the process of testing is the asus test tool but don't use the asus test tool because if you use the test tool you will get this error let me show you My model is A501CG. Select the package, the raw, raw firmware. But if you going to flash this, you will get the spare partition not found E something like this error. You can show this see it very soon here yeah, the session process started but it will start in the e unknown volume spare like something this Here it is. You can see the flash uh, failed error message, and in the fast boot, you will get you will also get this error fast boot log file. Here it is. Using spare cannot be successful because there is no such uh, volume name. So. Uh, I make a flash tool of to solve this error just download this from the description below you have to extract the raw firmware which you have downloaded this link is also in the description and you have to install the 7 zip file uh, software which you can download from google or I will give the link in the description just right click the raw farmer select 7 zip and extract into any folder and now reboot the phone into the droid boot again
just follow this instruction and you will, you will never get the unknown volume where something like this error with this script Don't press NG to NG now. Press NG after rooting in the boot loader. Same case again in here. Press NQ after the boot uh, after rebooting in the first boot menu. Here yeah, it is the droid boot. You can see all the flash kernel and the recovery file at the official signed image file Here the system flashing started, it will take some time because the partition is too big, 1.2 GB, so it takes some time. Don't touch anything and wait for the flashing of system. Now you have successfully unbricked and restored your device to the old stock ROM. Here is the cool Intel Asus boot logo, boot animation.
will take some time after fast food it will be stored to the jelly bean version which is android version 4.3 you have to upgrade it by the normal software update here you can see the welcome screen you can see it is not the not detecting the sim now it will detect the sim again when you upgrade it to the kitkat version i am sure it will now you can see the information of the information now you can see that the android version restored to the to the jelly bean version which is android version 4.3 now you can upgrade it to any android version you want so thank you guys for watching this video and click on the like button if you enjoy this video and it will helpful to you and subscribe the channel if you are new in this channel